Hi everybody, Shashana here, welcome back. Guess what, today we're going to make a special food, a side dish that people have um, around the world and at New Year's Eve. But in Brazil, it's a Sunday um, uh, side dish because it's with, um, we eat with barbecues and uh, it's very fresh. It's uh, Olivier salad or Russian salad. And for that, I'm gonna teach you how to make vegan mayonnaise the easiest mayonnaise ever invented. It is so good, filled with proteins. I mean, as lean as mayonnaise can be because it doesn't have eggs, it has uh, soy milk, so let's get started. What I have here, it's a hand mixer. It's easier for, to control when you use a hand mixer. And I have 50 ml of milk. Uh, unsweetened, it's important that, it, it, that it's unsweetened uh, soy milk. And it's important that it's room temperature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna whiz that down, whiz it with oil. It's very important that both of the ingredients, they are in room temperature, it's crucial. See, we are achieving the consistency that we need. Now mind you, when you add the acid to the mayonnaise, mayonnaise is nothing more than uh, emulsification. You, you emulsify acids with a base. When you, no waste here, you know, I hate waste, so that's why the finger thing. You're gonna have to get used to that, I'll do that a lot. Apple cider vinegar, add a little bit of salt, otherwise it will taste a little bit sweet. Because remember, this is milk, although it isn't sweetened, it tends to get a little bit sweet. A little bit more acid. If you think it's too thick, then you can add a splash of water, but Little by little, everything you do in the kitchen, it's best to do it little by little because it's easier to add other than to remove it. Once things are mixed up, you're done. And um, here we have potatoes, which I have uh, boiled already. They're, um, the potatoes should be cooked but firm. And uh, for this size of potato, I have boiled them for exactly six minutes in medium high heat. You don't boil with in complete high heat because the, they have the tendency to cook outside, but then on the inside, they're gonna be a little bit raw and that's not good. So here I have blanched carrots. I blanched them. Remember blanching? Click on a little circle on the top. I'll teach you all about blanching. And then what we do here, move this. We chop the vegetables the same size as the potatoes, which are roughly the same size as the peas and the corn. So just leave it. But again, guys, it all depends on how big or how small you like your vegetables. You like carrots better than potatoes, add more carrots. You like more corn um, because you just love corn, add more corn to your salad. This is a democracy. We can do whatever we want with our food. What I teach you guys here is um, a guideline. It's a basics. You can do whatever you want, give your personal touch add spices, you can add um, coriander instead of parsley, you can add olives, it's delicious with olives. I wanted to stick to the original salad here because as I said, this is a rough guide for you, a startup point. And then you transform it and give it your personal touch and then you call it instead of Olivia's salad, you call it my salad. It's cool. Now 
we transfer to a bowl, the bowl which we are going to mix all the ingredients. All right, what I did with the corn and the peas, I just put them in the boiling water for a few minutes. I didn't blanch them or anything because they were frozen. So it's okay. They were already cooked. So you don't need to boil them or blanch them or anything. Even because you want a little bit of crunchiness, I think it's interesting. So corn and peas are in. Why is it called Russian salad or Olivier salad? Because the chef who invented it is a, was a chef called um, Lucien Olivier. He was Belgium and he was working for this very fancy restaurant in Moscow called Le, Her Le Hermitage. And he invented the salad. And then later, his sous chef tried to steal the recipe. But there was something missing. Of course, he couldn't get the sauce right. Neither could I, <laughs> because it's originally not mayonnaise. So he started calling him uh, Stolishny salad, which means capital or from the capital city salad. Interesting, isn't it? Here we have vegan bologna instead of ham. If you have vegan ham, by all means, anything you want. If you don't like it there, don't bother. Mix it a little bit, but don't go crazy on mixing because we still have to add the mayonnaise. And the more you stir it, the more the potatoes are going to fall apart. So if you want nice squares like that. Well, first of all, it's wise if you mix it in a bigger bowl, which I didn't. And second of all, you mix a little bit more thoroughly once you have added the mayonnaise. In with the mayonnaise. It's amazing. You get so much mayonnaise with 50 ml of milk. And how much of um, oil do you need? It will depend. It will depend on the milk. It will depend on the oil. You keep pouring, and when you see it's done, or you're happy with the consistency, then you just, it's very difficult to say, oh, 50 mil, 100 mil, 150, even, and it won't work for you. So not even for myself, I, I never know. That is a mystery. Yet to be solved. The other day I have a girlfriend here, we had lunch. So we've had these for lunch and uh, a little mujadara. Mujadara is that um, Middle Eastern dish with lentils and rice and black onions. She went crazy over this and I understand because I also love it. Like I said before, you don't need to, you don't need to add parsley. I don't know, I, it's, I like parsley. I like cilantro as well, but I think that every time you add cilantro to your food, it tends to get a little bit more ethnic taste. It's not so, so neutral, if you can say neutral, as the parsley. And with the parsley, I like it very finely because then you can barely see it, but you can certainly taste it. So, pickles, every time you buy pickles, keep in mind that the smaller they are, the more strong they tend to be, physics, because if they're small, they tend to absorb more and more easier all the juices from the jar. And that's what I wanted, because I wanted a little bit of a humph. And there you have it. As little or as much as you want. I would like to put a little bit more, but because I was very smart and chose a pretty yet small bowl, I'm going to have to go for just a little bit of pickles. 
And there you have it, guys. Russian salad or Olivier salad, ready. It was, as always, a pleasure to be with you. I hope you like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And I see you next time. Have a wonderful week. Bye.